guys, it's Brianna. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. I am so dang excited for today's video. So dang excited. If you watched a few videos back, you know that I uh, threw away like 90% of my makeup, hair care, skincare, household items after watching the documentary Clean Beauty and learning that so many products are filled with like chemicals and toxic ingredients and just nasties, just straight up nasties, things that you, like, you don't want in your home, around your babies, your pets, and just for yourself. They mess with a lot, like medically. Do your research, it's crazy. I'll link that video down in the description. So since I threw away like most of my products in the trash is gone, I dumped it. I needed to find um, alternative products and better products, like clean, healthy products. So I did a lot of research, like a lot, a lot of research. Um, and I have been trying a lot of these products for the past month, like five, six weeks maybe. Um, and so here today I'm going to share with you guys everything that I have tried um, and the things that I really am loving. This is going to be just makeup and like nail polish and then I will have another video following this that will be clean skincare, um, body care, hair care, and just like the rest of it. I would put it in this video but it would just be way too long so I'm just going to separate them and break them up. Um, that way it's easier for you guys to watch and easier for me to like edit and link everything. Um, I will have everything linked in the description so if you see something that interests you, um, open up the description of this video and look through all of the links. I'll have everything uh, linked down there and you can click right on that link and it'll take you directly to the webpage um, where you can read more about it, see reviews and purchase it if you want to. Yeah, I think that is it. I think I've covered everything. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please thumbs it up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook, my blog, and my Etsy shop that I just launched. I'll have everything linked down below. And I'm on Instagram almost every day, so it's the easiest place to keep up with me. I also hold monthly giveaways on my Instagram, and right now I'm doing two of them. So be sure to check that out. I'll have me links down in the description. Um, okay, I believe that's all. Let's get right into this video and I hope you guys enjoy. So when I was cleaning out my vanity and going through all my drawers and like cleaning all the makeup out, um, I decided that I wanted to treat myself with a really nice bright vanity mirror. The one that I had, it was nice, but it wasn't really as bright as I needed it to be and it always needed new batteries, which was kind of annoying. So I decided to treat myself with this beautiful, gorgeous, stunning, super cool mirror um, from Fancy. This is the Vera mirror and it is a LED 3 color changing light setting vanity mirror <laughs> um, and this thing is super cool I will tell you about it and I will show you what it does too it is the coolest thing so I think it's so so important to have good lighting whenever you're getting ready because you don't want to have bad beauty lighting and sit in the dark or not really know if your face is matching your neck or if you put too much contour on or too much blush on but with a light like this that gives you lighting options you're able to perfectly see your lighting in the best quality lighting possible so each time that you do your makeup it is gonna come off flawless and accurate and it's gonna match and look good every single time okay I had to zoom you guys in closer so you could see a little bit better I also changed my lighting so you guys can get like a true tone of what this looks like so we'll turn it on with the power button and it turns on the first color setting which is a soft white which is more of like a warm toned like yellowish this is really good for um Eat, like evening date nights when you're gonna be in settings like in like warm light like restaurants or something in the evening um, and then the little light with the Sun is how you change the color tones so if we select that it'll automatically switch over to the neutral light um, and this is really good for like photography lighting if you're gonna take pictures or be on camera this type of lighting is gonna be really good this is actually the type of lighting that like makeup artists use um, and photographers use for their subjects and then if you press it again, then it takes you to the natural daylight, which is more of like a blue tone, cool tone light, which I love. This mimics natural daylight. Um, so it's great if you're going to be like outside um, or pretty much like anything else. So this is what I like to use when I get ready is the day tone, but it's really nice to know that um, if I'm gonna be going on like a date night and I'll be in that type of like warm type of lighting already in a restaurant, I can use the soft light. And then if I'm going to be taking photos um, and like be in front of a camera, then I can get ready and see my makeup in that type of lighting when I'm getting ready. So all these are super nice. Also, um, if you press the power button and hold it down, it dims it low. And if you press it again and hold it, it dims it high. So you have options. It's very 
um, user friendly and you can customize it to whatever you need with the lightings and the tones and also the dimness. Um, and it also comes with everything that you need. It's really nice that it comes with a cloth so you can get off all of the nasty fingerprints and marks on it. That is really nice. It also comes with the charging cord so you can charge it in the back right here which is really nice and this is going to last a long time on one single charge. It is a um, rechargeable USB. It also comes with a little like toolkit that you need to put it together and then it also comes with this handy little um, 10 times magnification mirror that is actually magnetic to the top of this mirror so you can place this anywhere on the top if you're doing your eyebrows or plucking them. So I'm very thankful to be working with Fancy on this portion of today's video and they were nice enough to give you guys 15% off of this Vera vanity mirror. So I will have the link down in the description as well as the 15% off discount code um, so you guys can check it out, read more about it, see the specs, read reviews, um, and check it out if you are interested. I'll have all that listed down in the description below. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk to you about is something really cool and really fun and you've probably heard me talk about them on Instagram because I've used them for a long time and I share them every single month. Kinder Beauty Box and these are my two most recent box from them. Kinder Beauty Box has all vegan and cruelty free like clean brands. Uh, so they do all the hard work for you, they scope out all the healthy brands, all the vegan brands, all the cruelty free brands of uh, beauty and skincare and sometimes even like accessory, like really cool fun things. Um, and they send it to you every single month in this cute box. This box is $25 and everything valued inside of it is up to $165. Like I still cannot wrap my mind around how they're able to do this but I so love that they do because they take all of that hard work out for you and supply you with really good clean fair brands um, and you also get to like try new brands and try new products every month which is so fun and it's so dang affordable so um, I'm just gonna show you a quick overview of the two that I have here I'll just open it up real quick show you and if you guys want to check out kind of beauty box then I will leave a uh, the code or not the code but the link in the description I highly suggest this I tell everyone about this and I love them so much they are a female um, female owned business female started business and they are just like super women love them so yeah, let's um, open these up and I'll just show you briefly what um, came in my last two previous month boxes. Okay, so you open up their their box, which is just beautiful. I love it. And they always have these really pretty mailers. I love this color. It's beautiful. And I love the gold foil. And this is kind of like a handy dandy kind of like handbook on what is in here. They also send you another little mailer with discount codes. So if there's something in here that you like and you want to purchase it again, they give you discount codes for everything. So that's awesome. Um, but every month they'll send you this in with your box and um, it'll show you everything that's in here, list it, show you the retail price and give like a little um, summary about it. So we'll run through these really quickly. This is the 100% Pure Bright Eyes Depuffing and Brightening Eye Masks. I've been wanting to use these so bad, but I've been holding off just to show you guys for this video. But I'm very excited to use those because I get very puffy eyes. Um, and this is the LXMI Nourishing Balm to Oil. I love this stuff. It smells amazing. Packaging is super cute. It's organic. Um, and this is really, I like love balm to oils. They're just like so luxe to me. Next is this Little Moon Aromatherapy Passion Mist and it smells like tangerine and cinnamon. It's very like a spicy sensual scent. I really, really like that. And I love this lip liner. It's so flattering. It's a beautiful color and will work on every skin tone. It's the Evo Beauty Lip Liner Pencil and this is the color uh, Val. And it's kind of like a mauve like neutral color. It is really, really beautiful. And next is this Bella Pierre Mineral Blush in the color Desert Rose. This is beautiful. I love this blush color. It's definitely my type of blush. And it also comes with a matching Kabuki brush, which I have not tried yet because I have like a blush brush that I just like always use. And this one is my most recent Kinder Beauty box and I actually haven't opened up anything in this one yet so it's going to be just as much as a surprise for you guys as it is for me. Um, again with their beautiful mailers um, and they show you all of the products with pictures about the brand, the product, and the retail price. Um, just like a little bit about it. Like this is so helpful. I love that they do this. So okay, first thing that catches my eye is this. This is the Inkling Sets. Okay, so really pretty packaging. I really like that. And I love roll-on perfumes. They're really good for travel, like throwing in your pocket or your car or your purse. Um, let's smell this. Okay, I'm gonna have to like start it. Wow, okay, this smells beautiful. It's very like clean and fresh and just like uplifting. 
Yeah, that smells really, really good. I really like that. Okay, next in here is the Delia Organics Nail and Cuticle Oil. So this looks like another roll-on, um, which I love. My cuticles get so dry, I need to really do something about it. So this is going to be really nice to put on my um, cuticles and around my nails at night. Okay, next thing that catches my eye is this K Voss, which this is a bronzing potion glow cream. Whoa. Okay, let's open this up and see what this is about because I've never heard that before. I just took this wrapper off and took the cap off and wow look at this this is really really cool so this is like a bronzer cream like a highlighter and bronzing luminous cream that you can mix in with um, your like foundation or your moisturizer to have like a no makeup bronze look or just to bronze up your um, your complexion so this is so cool I'm definitely excited to try that okay next thing is this really cool lip balm this is Elovi, this is a lip butter. How cool is their packaging? Elovi, I hope I'm saying that right. Ginger lemon lip butter. You know, I don't know why I'm not sitting down for this. My back's starting to hurt. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like. Wow, okay, you can really smell the ginger in this and the lemon, but more so the ginger. And what's really cool about this is it says it's six ingredient skincare, like super cool. I am really excited to try that. I have some on my lips right now, and so I really would just want to see, like I want to test this when I have nothing on my lips to see how it does on its own. So I'm excited to try this a little bit later. Okay, next thing is this Fleur and B Hi Hi Babies Anti-Aging Eye Cream. Whoa, okay, this is cool. Um, I have been looking for an eye cream and I have not been able to find one. That is one thing in like a clean beauty. Well, actually I did try one, but um, I ended up returning it because it was not very good. Okay, I need to, I need to, there we go. Struggle to do this with one hand sometimes. Okay, this is cute. Take $10 off your first order at florinb.com. Oh, cute. That is like the cutest little card ever. It's so little. Okay. Oh, this is cute. I love the packaging. Okay, I eyes baby eye cream. Anti-aging and firming. This is so cute. Okay, let's smell it. Mmm, smells delicious. I really, really like that. And it looks like it's really moisturizing, and I'm very, very excited to try this tonight. Um, I'll see how this does, and maybe you guys will see this in my Clean Beauty uh, skincare video. All right, let's start with lip balm. Lip balm is something that I always have to have on me. I'm always reaching for it. I always need to have lip balm on my lips. I just like can't have my lips dry. Like I just always have to have lip balm with me. But it's hard for me to find a lip balm that I like because a lot of them have like artificial fragrances and like just ingredients that I just cannot stand to smell or have on my lips. So it's hard for me to find a good one. But y'all, I found a good one. This is so good. And this is like a really like a special kind of lip balm. So this is uh, La La Lips. It's by the brand La La Leaf. And um, for one, like their packaging is super cute. How pretty is that? And the tube is just very like unique. Um, yeah, this is like gone because I use it multiple times a day. <laughs> um, and I've like used all of it up. I have another one right here, thankfully. I wanted to show you guys the packaging, so I left it in the box. But um, this is CBD lip balm. So there is actually 50 milligrams of CBD, like lab quality tested CBD in this lip balm. And it is... Um, tangerine scented and it's scented with natural um, essential oils nothing artificial um, it's all natural it's made with like really good like butters and oils and essential oils and the formula is really really good it's really moisturizing um, not sticky or anything just really like smooth glides on and hydrates really really well so um, 10 out of 10 love this oh. so yeah I've been using this every day I've totally used it up and now I'm on to my next one so definitely recommend this CBD lip balm from La La Lips. They also have other um, products as well. Um, I have their um, hemp lotion. I know I'm not doing like skincare and stuff but um, I will be talking about their um, grapefruit CBD hemp lotion. Um, in my next video so just a little preview of that that is also to come okay not talking about skincare but we're gonna talk about BB creams and um, like face bronzing stuff so um, I have always loved Andalo they uh, were one of like the first clean beauty brands that I used I used their clarifying line and I love their BB creams their beauty balm creams I have two of them here um, they're definitely uh, loved I use these often 
um, I actually stack up on these when I can. So um, I have pretty oily skin, so this is the oil control um, untinted beauty balm. And then this one here is the natural tint uh, tinted beauty balm. They both have SPF 30 in them. Um, and these are really good to just um, mix in right with your moisturizer. I just do a little, like a penny size, like a dime size of my moisturizer and a dime size of either one of these. Um, if I'm tan, I'll normally go with this. And then um, if I'm pale, then I'll go with this one to get some color to my face. So I really like these beauty balms. Um, also, if I need like something like luminous and a little bit more darker than even this one here, then I love this Pacifica Coconut Face Glow. This also has SPF in it, um, or is it SPF? 30 this is a mineral bronze glow um, and I also mix this in with my moisturizer and rub it on my face um, it's kind of like the same like a beauty balm but um, it's definitely more of like a bronzy bronzy tone so moving on to face I don't really like liquid foundation I've always used powder foundation and I prefer them because um, they're faster they're quicker to apply um, and also I have pretty oily skin so I need more of like a mattifying powder now this one from pure is amazing it's not a mattifying formula but it is a four in one uh, formula meaning that this is like four benefits in one this acts as your concealer your foundation your powder and your SPF and there's skincare ingredients in this so it naturally helps your skin to brighten um, and correct and prevent like skin problems this is like an award-winning product so many reviews and raves people have used these for like years and years and years and swear by it um, and so far I'm really happy with it and I will definitely be reusing it I've used this for almost a month straight and I'm like not even anywhere near hitting pans so I really like this so Far, although it's not mattifying like I said you definitely have more of like that dewy look you can even tell on my face you know I have like highlighter all over my face because I like that for the summer but I like that dewy look for the summer um, and I really don't mind it so yeah love this stuff okay I know there's a lot of Pacifica in here I just love Pacifica um, they have so many different products options colors shades um, and they're a really good clean brand that's cruelty free and vegan and like no nasties and stuff So there's a lot of Pacifica in here, but this is not sponsored. I just love Pacifica and I've used them for a really long time So, um, anyways, this is the Radiance Powder Face Palette. I am obsessed with this I was just talking about this on Instagram this morning I love palettes because they're so easy to like take and go and when you're traveling You don't need like four of one thing You can just like take this whole thing and it saves you so much time and space and it's just really, really convenient. And how beautiful are these? Like, I love them. So you have a blush shade, a matte brown, a matte br blush, a matte bronzer, a light highlighter, and then a darker highlighter. And I love it. I use this for my contour, this for my blush, this also in the crease of my eye. Um, this, this, this highlighter, like underneath my eye and on my lid, on my cheekbone, on my cupid's bow, on my nose. Um, and then this darker highlighter is so pretty and I use that like right on my uh, cheekbone area. So I am obsessed. I love this powder palette so much. It's like the best um, highlighter, blush, bronzer duo I have ever used. And I am obsessed with that. I'm just straight obsessed. So I love peachy tones. Um, and although I really like that there's a blush in here, these two, here I'll show you, these two shades of blush are pretty different and I love peach. I think it's so, so complimenting. So when I saw this one from Burt's Bees, I had to get it. They are quite different, but um, Burt's Bees has really good products and I love their packaging. Um, it's so, so cute and even like the print on the blush is like a beehive. And I love this color. It's so beautiful and complimenting, just like peachy. It goes on super smooth, glides on, it's matte, it's beautiful. I'm obsessed. I've been reaching for this every single day more than I have the blush in this color because I love this tone for all year round, but especially this summer. So loving this one from Burt's Bees. It is called uh, Bear Peach. How cute is this little cream highlighter? It's from the brand Samoa. Um, you look at it and it looks like Siest Moi, but it's Samoa and it means it's me in French. It's so cute. This brand is so cute. Like these are some other ones that I have here that I haven't opened yet. I'm gonna throw these ones in a giveaway. But look how pretty their packaging is. Like ombre and just like beautiful. So cool. And this brand is EWG uh, verified, which means they're like 
tap rated clean, um, healthy ingredients, like recommended, super, super good. Um, yeah, they have cream highlighters and they're so beautiful. They're very glowy, luminous, sparkly, just a beautiful, seamless formula. I love. I almost forgot and I almost skipped over my primer that I've been using. This is from Pacifica and it is a oil control mattifying primer. Um, it's silicone free. It's cherry matte mattifying primer, pre-makeup oil control. It smells super good. Um, it's made with wild cherry extract. It's just very like light and almost smells like, um, what's that one, what's that one flower called? cherry blossom yeah it's like cherry blossom and this isn't like a gel or like a paste that I've used in the past it's almost like a moisturizing like lotion kind of texture it blends in super well it leaves your face uh, like a tad bit tacky so that your makeup really adheres to it and sticks and to go along with that this is the um, mattifying setting spray so same kind of scent cherry matte um, this is made with cherry and raspberry leaf and hydrolonic acid so i actually spray this before i put my makeup on and then i do the primer and then the foundation and all that and then after i'm done with my entire makeup then i spray this again it's a really nice light mist um, and it's really cooling and it smells super good um, and this keeps my makeup in place all day and it also helps to control the oil it keeps my face matte all right, next we're gonna move on to eyeshadows, and eyeshadows is something I actually had a challenging time finding something. I just like specific colors and tones, and so it was kind of challenging finding those. But um, one that I have been using for a long time and loving is this Pacifica palette. I think this was called um, Made with Love palette. And look how gorgeous the packaging is, and then you open it up. It's just beautiful. I've used this for a long, long time. You can tell I love like peachy, rose gold, um, like bronzy brown tones. Um, so this is one that I've used for a really, really long time, and I love palettes because they're really good for travel and on the go. You have so many options with you at one time. This one is the one that I just picked up last month. It's called the um, Magical Eyeshadow. I think it's like the Animal Palette. Um, this is gorgeous you get so many shades in here so many fun colors I definitely stick to more of this side of the palette but if I wanted to get a little crazy and have a little fun and experiment with some colors or like even a little pop of color then this gives you the option there's also mattes and shimmers and glitters and it is so so beautiful I love it um, it also gives you the names of all the colors on the back with all the animal names um, it is just beautiful. So I have been loving this. I love the formula. It's very uh, buildable, very blendable, and the colors and the payoffs are just gorgeous. So I highly, highly recommend this. Um, you will just like never have, you'll like never run out of any options with this palette. All right, now we're gonna move on to mascaras. I have these two mascaras that I've been talking about on my Instagram and my Facebook. Um, both of them are super good, but it just depends on like what you're looking for in a mascara. So the first one that I tried was this Honest Beauty Mascara. Um, this has so many good reviews and people rave about this. This is a two-in-one mascara. So on one end, you actually have a primer that primes your lashes. And then on the other end, you have the mascara. Um, the only thing with this here is that the brush is quite small and on my right eye it did wonderful like made my eyes look amazing and it made my lashes feel amazing but on my left eye like my lashes on that eye are just like really wonky and it just like did not work well and I think it has to do with the wand I need like a big plush wand so although I really liked this it just like wasn't an ideal um, like wand shape for me but I definitely still recommend this and this would work great for other people um, now this mascara from Pacifica is called the Stellar Gaze and it is a mineral mascara and this wand is big and plush and voluminous like there's such a difference between the two wands. This is the type of wand that I need for my lashes. Um, I really just don't even know the difference but I've always had to use big plush wands like this in any mascara I've used. I don't know if like my left lashes are just like crazy but if you have like crazy lashes that just don't really like they're not easy to tame, then I definitely suggest a larger plush brush like this one. I love the formula of this. Um, it doesn't leave your, like neither of these leave your lashes feeling like crusty. They're just very like soft and plush um, and long and lengthened and I like them. So if you love lip balms and you love tinted lip balms, then you are going to love these. These are the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balms and they are so, so beautiful and so hydrating and moisturizing and they smell so good. The first one that I picked up was this one here and it's called Xenia and it's that peachy tone that I really, really like. It's really pretty. This is what it looks like um, and I fell in love with it. I could wear this on my lips all day. In fact, this is what I have on my lips right now. It goes on super smooth and moisturized. Um, 
super hydrating. It smells really, really good too. So I love that. And I love that one so much that I wanted to try another color. So I picked up this one, which is Pink Blossom. And this one's definitely more of like a pinky tone. Really, really pretty. So I will definitely be getting more of these because I love them. I can wear them all day long and they're great for when you have like a full face of makeup on or if you're just like hanging out at home with no makeup on. Um, these are just really, really pretty. Another one that I tried was this Honest Beauty Tinted Lip Balm. And this one's in more of like a lipstick um, container. And I love this color. It is beautiful. It's like a golden, pearly nude. Um, and it's in the color uh, Lychee Fruit. Um, and man, I really, really wanted to love this one because I love the color. I love nudes. But um, the formula just wasn't as hydrating. So maybe if you're not really concerned about having like hydrated lips all the time, if you already have hydrated lips, then this would definitely be something good for you. But this just wasn't as moisturizing for my for my lips. It also doesn't really have a smell to it. So if you like stuff that's like unscented and you don't really need something super, super moisturizing, then I would definitely recommend this. It is a beautiful color and still a nice formula. I guess it just depends on your personal preference with how you like your lip products. Okay, so for lip gloss, I have these three lip glosses from CS de Moy. Um, these came in a trio, like in a pack. Actually, this is the packaging that it came in, which I like because you can just like buy a kit like this and you have so many different options and you can also like mix them. I love these colors. They are so, so beautiful and so flattering and versatile for every single skin tone. This one here is Bliss. This one here is Opalence. And this one here is Rise, which I think this one is my absolute favorite. Um, the formula is really nice. It is nice and smooth and soft. It glides right on. It's not sticky, not tacky. Um, and there's a very like mild scent to it. Okay, I am super excited about these. So I found really good, clean nail polish. Nail polish is like full of like really bad chemicals. You can tell as soon as you open a bottle, you know, like they smell super strong. Um, so I found um, this brand of nail polish which is mineral fusion and they have beautiful colors so many colors so many options and i have four of them here these three i've had for a little while and then this one i just recently picked up so i haven't used this one but it's so 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 pretty i love that i cannot wait to wear that um but these are really clean good formulas formulated without any like bad nasty things it's really clean safe nail polish um, long lasting and chip resistant um, it's a really good formula so I have a purple glitter here this one is called meteor shower I have a really pretty like glittery maroon color called brilliant this really pretty like pearl pink which is called pink crush and then my newest coral fun color that's called skipping stone so I love these um, and also the brush on them is really nice. Okay, I also picked up a Pacifica nail polish, which I've never tried their nail polishes before, but it also says they are like a seven free and like sans free, really um, clean formulated nail polish. And I love my white um, for my, my toes and my nails. So I wanted to try out a nail polish from them. I have not tried this yet, but I know it is clean, but I can't comment on like the formula like I can with the Mineral Fusion. I've used Mineral Fusion like many, many times, um, at least these three colors I have. But I have not had the chance to um, try the white yet, but um, it is a clean nail polish, so I wanted to include it. Okay, and this is super interesting. So I learned that acetone is really bad for you. Like it is a harmful, toxic ingredient, and acetone is found in like it's it's in nail polish right like 100% pure acetone you do to like remove like gel or dip or nail polish or anything so I found this one which is a soy based nail polish remover which is so cool to me it's so interesting this is by the brand Ella and Mila and this is in the lavender scent and it's made with lavender essential oil um it's like a super clean chemical free nail polish remover and I tried it and it works so well it almost works better than acetone and you don't have that like nasty chemically smell, like super strong smell that acetone and nail polish remover has. This is really like light and fragrant and it smells really pleasant. It smells really good. It also says it's vitamin enriched and has essential oils in it. Um, so I highly recommend this one. They have the unscented and then lavender. I haven't tried the unscented, but I tried the lavender and I love this. So definitely like ditch acetone and pick up this stuff. It's super affordable too. And also Ella and Mila has a nail polish line, but I haven't tried it yet. So if you have, then leave a comment down below and let me know how you like it because I might pick some of those up or someone else watching this video might be interested in it. 
All right, y'all, that is all. I know there was a lot here, and I know maybe rambled on a little bit too long, but I hope this was helpful and informative. I hope it was a good resource for you, and I hope you found some good suggestions and some products that you want to try as far as clean beauty goes. I really tried to, like, switch up and get some, like, different opinions, but also, like, not breaking the bake at the same time. <laughs> so I hope this was really helpful for you guys, and if it was, please thumbs it up. If you have any suggestions of clean beauty that you've tried that you want to let me or other people know, then leave it down in the comment section, and we can have a conversation and just, like, share things with other people. I want to make this a place where people can come and get like good product recommendations because clean beauty is something that we need to like talk more about and share more about. I definitely want to do that here. So um, yeah, leave me a comment, like this video, also subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the description for all the links to every product. Everything will be linked there so you can easily find it and shop it. Also check out my blog, my Etsy shop, and all everything like to contact me, my Instagram and all that will be down in the description below. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video, which will be clean skincare, view, no, skincare, body care, and hair care, and probably some other things that'll be extra in there. I will see you guys in that next video. Bye, love ya.